Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Optive webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to create a two node failover cluster in Windows Server 2019. In the previous video, we have prepared the test lab to create failover cluster. If you haven't seen that video, then first go back and check out that video because in that I have configured a test lab. Link is given in the description area so you can quickly jump to that video. For this video, we are using the test environment created in VirtualBox. We have total 4 virtual machines all running on Windows Server 2019 standard edition. This is our domain controller named ws2k19-dc01 with the domain network 172.18.72.0/24. This is our iSCSI storage server. We have already configured iSCSI storage and initiator In the last video, we are using this member server as an iSCSI target server. Let me show you the both virtual disk as well. Let's click on File and Storage Services. Click on iSCSI, and we have created two virtual disk in the last video: V disk one and V disk two. This is our third virtual machine with the name WS2K19-SV02. This server is part of our Active Directory domain. We have total three network adapters on this server: one for domain network, one for cluster network, and one dedicated network to access the storage using iSCSI initiator. This server will be our first node in failover cluster. Our first step is to install failover cluster feature on this member server. And for that, on SOM Manager console, I'm going to click on Manage and select Add Roles and Features. On before you begin screen, we need to click on next button. Select rule base or feature base installation and click on next. Select our local server ws2k19-sv02 and click on next. Click on next on select server rules. On select feature, we need to select failover clustering. Click on add features to add required features as well. Click on next and click on install to start the installation process. we need to perform the same steps on our other node as well this is our fourth virtual machine with the host name ws2k19-sv02 this server is also part of our active directory domain malab.local we have total three network adapters on this server as well one for domain network one for cluster network and one dedicated network to access the iSCSI storage this server will be our second node in failover cluster Let's install failover cluster feature on this member server as well. For that, I'm going to click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. On before you begin screen, we need to click on Next, select Rule Base or Feature Base installation, click on Next. Select our local server, which is WS2K19-SV03, click on Next. Next again, on Select Features, select Failover Clustering feature. Click on Add Features. to add required features for failover clustering click on next and click on install let me show you the disk management on the server as well on the server as you can see disk 1 and disk 2 is there we have connected iSCSI virtual disk using iSCSI initiator and these are the two disk uh, let me show you the disk management on our uh, first node as well fine Now the first thing which uh, I'm going to do is let's initialize this both disk on our server one. Let's right click on disk one and select online. Let's do the same for disk two. Select online, and now we need to initialize this disk. Right click on disk one and select initialize disk. We're going with GBD partition style, and as you can see, disk one and disk two both are selected. Click on OK. perfect now we can create volumes on this hard disk just like we used to do on normal hard disk first i'm going to select disk 1 let's create a partition on it let's give drive letter q now why q because this disk is going to be a quorum witness disk perfect now let's move to disk 2 as well let's create a new simple volume on it I'm going to drive letter M. Uh, 
Okay, perfect. Now we have two partitions, one on disk 1 with the drive letter Q and second one on our disk 2. Uh, we are not able to see the drive letter. Let me click on refresh. Let's close this console and let's again open it because uh, the drive letter was not there. Let's confirm that we have a drive letter M as well. So now we have completed all the required settings. Now we can start the wizard to validate our cluster configuration. Let's minimize the console. It is asking us that uh, restart is pending on our member server. So let me close the disk management console and let's close. Let's uh, close our manager console and let's restart this uh, member server. Let's move to our node number 2. Here you don't have to do anything in the disk management. Make sure both disk, disk 1 and disk 2 remain in an offline state. Let's close disk management console and again restart is pending on the server as well. Let's click on close and let's close our manager console and restart this member server as well. Okay, let's go back to our node 1. Let's again log in to this member server as a domain admin. Let's press enter key. Okay, let's check the status of our second node as well. Let's press the controller to delete key combination and let's sign in with the credential of our domain admin. Okay, so this is our node 1 with the hostname ws2k19-s02 and this is our second node with the hostname ws2k19-s03. Before we create the cluster, we need to make sure that everything set up properly to create failover cluster. So let's validate our failover cluster related settings on our node ws2k19-s02. We need to click on tools. And here we need to click on failover cluster manager. See, you have to perform these steps only on one of your node. Let's uh, minimize the console. It is telling us that you can manage your failover cluster using Windows Admin Center as well. I can just select don't show this message again. Let's close it. Let's go back to failover cluster manager. Here we have uh, options to start that wizard to validate our configuration. We can right click on failover cluster manager and from this menu we can select a validate cluster configuration or simply we can click on validate configuration link to start that wizard as well. Let's click on it. That is going to start a one wizard for us. On before you begin screen we need to click on next button. Here we need to select the servers which are going to participate in failover clustering. Click on browse. Click on advance. Click on find now and select ws2k19-sv02 and ws2k19-sv03. Click on OK. Click on OK. Fine. Now we need to click on next button. It is telling us that which test you want to run. If you want to run particular specific test only, that time select this radio button. Run only test I select and click on next, select the test which you want to run and go ahead. But in our case, we want to run all test and which is recommended. Click on next. On confirmation page, it is telling us that these are the tests which this wizard is going to run on it. Let's click on next to continue. This process is going to take some time to complete and after that, you will have a result in a success or in a failure. After you made sure that every applicable test pass with the state is successful, you can create the cluster by using the checkbox create the cluster now using the validated nodes or you can do that later on as well. If you have any error or warnings, you can view the detailed reports by clicking on a view report. Let's do that. Let's maximize this console. Here we have uh, some warnings on system configuration. So let's click on it. 
here we have a two warnings one for validate all drivers sign because we are using virtualbox and we have installed virtualbox gas addition tools and those drivers are not signed by microsoft that's why we are getting this warning related to unsigned drivers which we can confirm it from here it is telling us that on node ws2k19-srv02.mylab.local some unsigned drivers are there and those are virtualbox devices and virtualbox graphics adapter those errors are same on ws2k19-srv03.mylab.local as well we can ignore this warning uh, let's jump to the next one now we have a one more let's click on system configuration and we have a one more a warning is there on validate software update levels okay uh, some uh, error was there there was an error retrieving the some information on our node ws2k19 happen as a visitor 3 before creating a failover cluster you have to make sure that all servers have the same software updates installed and if anyone have a pending reboot then you have to reboot that server first after that you have to start the wizard to create a failover cluster and i recommend it that you save this cluster report as well for that let's place alter key click on file and click on save as let's uh, save this report on under documents okay let's close this and now we can uh, create the cluster by selecting this uh, checkbox but we are not going to do that simply i'm going to click on this uh, finish button to create a cluster i'm going to click on create cluster link that will start a new wizard for us on before you begin screen i'm going to click on next button here we need to click on browse button click on advance and click on find now select both servers srv02 and srv03 and click on okay click on okay again click on next it will ask us to specify the cluster name then after you need to provide the ip address to your cluster as well let's click here already 172.18.72.0 because that is the our domain network and here i'm going to specify ip address 10 so our cluster's name will be my lab cluster and ip address will be 172.18.72.10 click on next if you want to automatically add all available storage in the nodes then make sure you select this checkbox to add all eligible storage to the cluster click on next so it is not compulsory you can also add storage later on to your cluster as well and here we are receiving message that you have successfully completed the create cluster wizard that means we have successfully created two node failover cluster in windows server 2019 these are the node which are participating in failover cluster this is a cluster name and quorum setting is there node and disk majority with the ip address 172.18.72.10 if you want to view the report that time you simply need to click on this view report link let's click on uh, finish button fine a cluster is created successfully this is a summary of our cluster mylab cluster cluster name is mylab cluster dot mylab dot local and current host server is ws 2 k 19 hyphen s service 2 the witnessed is there which is cluster disk 2 we'll configure those settings later on but let me show you one more thing on our domain controller first on our domain controller i'm going to click on tools and let's open active directory users and computers let me click on computers container and here you can see we have a computer account of our failover cluster as well with the name my lab cluster and description you can verify that description is there this is the failover cluster virtual network name account and if you open dns management console uh, we can also confirm that dns record for our cluster as well here we go this is the dns record for our failover cluster my lab cluster with the ip address 172.18.72.10 let's move to our node 1 
uh, on field of cluster manager let me expand our cluster name and let's click on nodes first here we can verify uh, both node is up and running under status you can see up message is there under assign vote you can see one vote to each node is there and current vote is also mentioned there based on the our uh, configuration our cluster type is a node with disk maturity let's click on storage and click on disk you can verify we have a two cluster disk cluster disk 1 and cluster disk 2 status is online now here you can see available storage means assigned to this this disk is assigned for storage purpose and the capacity is 100 gb and we have a uh, another disk which is used in disk witness in quorum suppose in future if you want to change your cluster configuration type that time you need to right click on your cluster name here we have a more actions and here we have options to manually configure quorum settings click on next i'm going to select this radio button select the quorum witness click on next here we have a total four options to select a quorum witness first one is configure our disk witness which is a suitable for our configuration the second one is that configure a file share witness in that you need to set up a share folder to add quorum votes in failover cluster uh, third one is that configure a cloud witness so if you have a cloud account that you can uh, specify here and the last one is that do not configure a quorum witness but according to us configuration the best suitable options is configure a disk witness click on next now here we have uh, options that which disk you want to use as a cluster witness and that's why we have created a partition of a 1 gb and that's why we have added a disk with a 1 gb of size because we want to use that disk as a quorum witness let's expand networks as well let's click on networks and here we have a total three networks uh, we have a cluster network one let's right click on it and select properties this is their domain network and that's why i'm going to rename this network let's give name domain network allow cluster network communication on this network and allow clients to connect through this network as well click on apply and click on ok select the second cluster network right click on it and select properties this is 192.168.72.0.24 this is our iSCSI network okay and that's why we want to select do not allow cluster network communication on this network click on apply and click on ok next we have a third network right click on it and select properties this is our network 10.10.72.0.24 and we want to use this network for cluster communication only we don't want that clients can communicate using this network and that's why this box is not selected let's rename this network let's give cluster network name click on apply and click on ok perfect suppose if you want to configure cluster shared volumes that time you need to click on disk select the disk which is available for storage and right click on it and here we have uh, options to add this disk to cluster shared volumes let's click on it perfect now that disk is successfully added as a clustered shared volumes let's open file explorer let's click on this pc and now you can see we don't have that uh, volume on our pc but if you double click on c drive under folder name cluster storage that volume will be visible to you and it is here volume 1 with the size of 100 gb why because we have added that disk as a clustered shared volume so this is the way how you can create two node failover cluster using a windows server 2019 and now you can assign rules to your cluster based on the requirement let's right click on rules select configure rule and click on next and suppose if you want to configure file server rule using this failover cluster then simply select file server and make sure you install file server rule on your both node and just simply click on next so now we have successfully completed all required steps to create two node failover cluster in windows server 2019